rest of here. Good day. Thank you. Thanks. Excellent. You have moved forward slightly in your investigation, finding uh, out that there is a town called Santa Claus somewhere west of here. Hopefully it's closer than Indiana. Tattoo? Indiana. No, really. Yeah, that is west. <laughs> Awkward. Okay. Well, actually, west of California puts you into what we call deep water. If you keep going around. Oh, yeah. right. Right, right. Right, really right. Don't be a quitter. <laughs> Don't be a quitter. There you go. <laughs> that, that may be a good title for this session. Don't be a quitter. And yet we are so often. <laughs> Ironic. That's the best reason yep. ever. <laughs> All right, let's go to let's go to a different town. Uh, make sure our supplies are stocked. And okay. finding out where this town is may oh. help. Uh, west, there's a lot to. Uh, actually, it's northwest to be more specific. There's a lot of area to the northwest of you, not straight west, because that's all wet. But okay, uh, Glenn, do you have a card that you would drop if you had a card that would let no. you refill? I have a replenish. Mm. Are, are all of your cards good? Well, I'm peeking through that. Oh. Okay. I'm back down to six. But if Glenn, just you, wanted to refill, I have a dance, dance, viva la revolution. Make a mm. dance roll to refill your hand. Worth a shot. So you're going to trade cards with his one card left? And I will try to take good care of it. Hmm. Okay, dance roll. Dun, dun, dun. You stand up at the uh, cafe and begin wildly dance, dance, viva la revolution dance. Outside the library, and I made it. Oh, sorry. Good, uh, good. Everyone's just going to have to wait hey. to come out with a broom. No problem. <laughs> they just the, leave. the guards watch you doing this dance, dance thing. They begin applauding. Right, so you can refill your hand there. The guards clap. Olé! Hmm. <laughs> imagine, imagine like eight or so really old guards doing that. <laughs> okay. One of them yells, "Take it off!" <laughs> well, and we leave. <laughs> All right. The other ones are like, "You're always fucking this up for us, Phil." <laughs> <laughs> you come on too strong. <laughs> uh, got some decent cards. Cool. So, what do you guys do now? <sighs> Try to find a map. Let's go to the. City. Get bikes. I'm really curious as to where you'd find a map. Is they there really a... have paper here? They have newspapers that come in the broadsheet format sometimes. It's probably a road. Just follow the road. Or a path. So you want to leave town and see where the roads are? Let's get bikes. You hmm. and your bikes. We'll figure them out eventually. <laughs> I'm going to leave bikes in every forest. Hmm. That's fair. Uh, cool. I believe it's gold for each bike. I feel like somewhere in downtown with all of the trams and such, somebody knows other towns. I yeah. bet they do too. We'll ask around for directions to Santa Claus. No problem. Just take the, the northwestern road out of town. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the only road. You can't miss it. <laughs> how far? How far of a distance? Well, I, he looks at, uh, did you guys buy bikes or no? Not yet. Glenn? Glenn, are you trying to hide a bike behind bikes. 
he says, well, walking would take uh, quite a while, but, you know, if you have some sort of transport, much quicker. He says, it's, it's uh, out past uh, Ventura Village. Are we talking about you'd be able to walk it in a day? What type of... No, a couple weeks. Uh, having a bike would be much quicker. I'll roll geography. Of course. I know you where. want to be careful not to run into to, uh, Eddie and the Seven Deadly Sins. Bandits out there. Bad bunch. But there's a bounty on their heads. Hmm. You're rolling what? Geography? I'll tell you uh, what the train should be like. Okay. I mean, no. you're... Cool. You're thinking California. <clears throat> yeah. It's super hard when uh, everything has been renamed and shit because you're not sure what the fuck Santa Claus is. But you know you're coming to his town. <laughs> Okay. He says, "All right, uh, you give me a research role to eventually find somebody who uh, can do more than I've never been out of this city, or I've never yeah, been more than the Fail. I'm gonna try <laughs> geography. I didn't make it. Okay. How about a research role? Research is looking hopeful. Cool. Glenn's talking to somebody who claims to be a world traveler. He's been two days outside of town. And yep. Everybody else is like, "No, you have not." And he's like, "I have." <laughs> I, I did make the research. Great. You find a guy who uh, tells you to take the coast road. It's super bad. About the, 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 about two days of travel until you get to small village. Uh, they call it the Boo. Uh, the Boo? Boo. B-U. Uh, and then you go uh, about... Four days of hard travel, uh, less if you uh, can make your bikes work until you get to Ventura Village. From Ventura Village, it should be about a day's travel, and then you're at Santa Claus. Beyond that is more shit. Lots, lots more shit. If you're out, if you're out in Santa Claus, you might want to talk to a psychic named Spencer. Who's that? Psychic. Name's Spencer. He's psychic. I Why? Heard. Oh, just you, you like to talk to people that say they're psychic? Well, he's the most interesting thing I know about Santa Claus. Okay. So it's one day from Ventura to Santa Claus? Uh, it should be. And four from Boo to Ventura Village? About right. How many days from San Angeles to Boo? Two, two and a half. Okay. I mean, it's it's rough roads and stuff. Some a uh, little bit of hilly and mountainous stuff in there, but not too bad. If you have some sort of transport, that would definitely tighten it up. There, there is a, a road or a train that go uh, there uh, goes to Bakersfield. Of course, that's not on your way at all, but. <laughs> and they're still building it. So it may be a while. Before. Oh. Well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just wait a few years and hmm. yeah. take the scenic route. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. We're going to make sure our food and water is stocked and get a mountain bike. No problem. No, what? Hmm? what? No. Glenn, what? You your bike. What? what? I like horses. You can ride a bike. Mm. I'll ride a horse. You get a. Or I'll ride a bike. You get a horse. That's, That's what I'm fine. Saying. That's fine. See you there. I'm not going to take care of your horse, but <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> okay, you're like going to ride a bike like across the beach and like. So. Okay. Would you like a kind of crappy horse, a good horse, a great horse, or a mule? <laughs> uh, what are our prices? Uh, 100, 140, 200. Or mule. So it costs more than a bike does. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. Don't be so smug, Glenn. <laughs> what are you gonna feed it? You can buy a human-sized yeah. cage made of iron that uh, costs two hundred silvers as well. <laughs> That'll fix his wagon. One of these days, I have a horse. You can buy a slave. They they sell uh, some elven slaves. Yeah. I'm gonna pass on that one. No, I ride it. Ride some guy out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nope. Okay. nope. All right. How much are bikes, Glenn? Seventy silver or one gold. Yeah, that's a mid-range bike. If you want a good bike, which uh, only helps if you are personally happen to ride it, that's 180 silvers as opposed to 70 silvers. Or if you want top-of-the-line bike, 250 silvers. Not that yeah. great at riding a bike. I'd get the one gold bike because you're going to probably end up abandoning it. Yep. Again. I'm like really not great at riding a bike. Nobody no in this world seems to be. They all ride like the seven year olds who's begging their dads <laughs> not to fucking let go of the back of the bike. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's do it. Fine. Okay. It shows you guys both like wobbly ride out and crash yep. into shit. And the guy who sold them to is like, no refunds. So, <laughs> right. Uh, both of you guys give me a ride bike roll as I'm going to try to speed this up as we're running along. Nope. Fumble. Fumble. Okay, you guys both managed to break your bikes at the city or before the city gate. They're broken. Give me mechanical repair to fix it. Otherwise, it's broken. You have no. no tools or anything. She goes, it's broke. It shows like the frame split in half. She's not Made sure it. what happened. Your your bike, you, you, you get the tire repaired, and her bike's like in half. She's like, I hate bikes. I do. You want to go I, back and spend their gold? I fix her bike. All right, give me a re- mechanical repair negative 30 because she's already tried and she's pretty convinced that she's managed to make, make it irreparable. She has yeah. a lot of rage here. A lot of rage. Sorry, Dana, you made it unrepairable. You know, I, I mean, the bike seller is right over there if you want to yeah, go. Yeah, I'm glad that bike. it broke down at this point. Than like- Do you want me to draw that out for you? <laughs> yes. He tosses it over his shoulder and goes, you want to buy a bike? Yes. You want an extra <laughs> bike too? No. No. Right. He charges you and mark off another gold. You have a yes. new bike. There you go, he says. Mm-hmm. And that one ready. He tells his buddy. He goes, <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, right. As you guys are heading out, Give me bike rolls again, and there's a guy following you on a bike. He's the, one from, he's, he's the assistant from the bike shop. He's waiting to sell you a new bike. Not a fumble. But I, I didn't succeed. Didn't make it. No problem. You guys are basically going at walking speed. I'm going to give you several different chances to uh, try to go faster if you can both. Uh, unfortunately, you'll both have to make your roll to actually cut down your travel time. Otherwise, one of you just rides circles around the air and gets a check and bike, and the other one doesn't. So, Wait. Hmm? Before we leave town? Yes. Glenn, we need what? to go get our stuff back from the Ovaltine Castle. We checked it in, and then we went, like, we left. We didn't establish that we have our stuff back. Damn. I was really hoping for that just to be left there. No. I said we make sure that we have our stuff. All right. Neither her nor I heard that, but you get your stuff back without okay. the incident. So, you guys uh, then ride out. The guy's going to stick with you until you get to the first town because a gold is a gold, right? <laughs> uh, so, you guys, uh, after about a day and a half uh, of travel, or uh, you guys reach, you end up sharing a campfire with the guy. <laughs> Second day, you reach Boo. Uh, 
from Boo, you're going to be doing four days of hard travel to the next town. Give me bike rolls. Not a lot's going on, just normal trade. Although at Boo, you are warned that there are bandits on the road. Be careful. I'm popping a skill plus 15 on my roll. Woo! Fancy. And... So close. I got it. Oh, my God. Excellent. Goodbye, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to just ignore his ass and wait for him in town? I think so. Town? All right. What? You discover bicycles have your travel time compared to walking on this sort of train. So you get to uh, stay for two days in Boo, uh, just hanging out, paying the hotel bills, drinking yourself stupid, whatever you want. Uh, working out incessantly, whatever. Oh, I feel guilty after I pedal a half mile away. It takes me a full half mile. I'll go back. Okay, no problem. I, four days later, you guys reach there. Um, you you uh, arrive at Ventura Village. They have a general store and a surf shop where you can buy a decent surfboard for seven silvers if you'd like to go surfing. A lot of kind of hippie people here and stuff. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, they have a in slash tavern that you can stay over at. Um, small merchants and stuff like that are here. You know, nothing really special. Oh, then I got to let out the fucking cat because it's crazy. <clears throat> Keep grooving. Yeah, should be able to get there. I just remembered we never went back to the Route 66 place. That'd be nice if we finished this up quick. But, um... These fucking cats. So, Scott, you know you're, you're, you've got about this much of your face Sorry. showing on your camera. So, what do you guys do? You're in Ventura Village. You want to go surfing or continue on? They warn you about bandits on the road. Um, you have well, not seen any bandits, and you guys look like you have nothing worth robbing. We'll stay. I mean, we'll stay over in town. And then sure. Head out. I mark off a few silver. It's like, I think, six silver each, and you guys are well rested and get good food and something to drink and all that kind of shit. And they, it shows like uh, you handing your bikes to the stable boy and him taking them <laughs> off to his tables, changing their hay and stuff. <laughs> uh, that's great. Okay. Continue on. Oh. I think you're muted. Hello, Sheila. Come in, Sheila. Say stuff. She's not talking, so it's impossible to tell if she's muted. She's just staring at us like we're crazy people. Still nothing. Well, you got. She's not talking, dude. How can we tell? I can. I can hear her. No, no, Very she's not saying away. anything. She's not even moving her lips, dude. Now you're muted. Oh, is your is your is, is your mic clicky deal? Do you have a mic clicky oh, deal? Yeah, do the clicky deal. Is my click is my clicky go. deal on now? Hey. Yeah. Got it. Teamwork. Don't play with the clicky deal. Those are poison. So, <laughs> on the way. It's not on purpose. On the way out of out of uh, uh, Ventura. After about half day's travel, you can see eight guys on horses chasing one girl on a horse. That's probably her. <laughs> and you guys are on bikes doing the really wobbly thing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, don't go fast. Don't go fast. Bike roll? Uh, yeah, if you want to try to catch up and stuff, sure. Otherwise, you do better just laying down and dying. So, <sighs> parkour did, did not make it. You're thinking parkour is not going to catch a galloping horse under the best of circumstances. How far off are they? 
probably about a hundred meters ish, about a football field. Is that too far for a pistol? Uh yeah, yeah. Uh, usually about the ten yard line from the end zone is a decent pistol shot. That's pretty hard pistol shot actually. About half that's a good range. So much to a rifle, rifle maybe. You want the upper rifle? No. Yeah. Right. There they go. Um. Follow them very slowly. <laughs> so much wobbling. Oh, God, it's a big rock. It's a big rock. Go around it. Ah, oh, using your feet. <laughs> no problem. You guys very slowly. Over here. Around. Oh, you attempt to get her attention. Excellent. She fails to notice at all. But let's check on those guys. Nobody notices you. They're all real busy doing their own chasing and stuff. Glenn, can you do the megaphone thing? Um, oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to give her a thing. There you go. That's Russ's thing. Oh, Oops. you can't do the megaphone thing. Ah. The gods despise me, so I've got <laughs> ten some big ones. Wow. Yeah. So all of my cards, and I had gotten a a second time of having to discard all of my cards that I had a clogging greed. Wait, wait. Wow. I've got a limited retrieve. Get so, that gods despise you thing back. You can do it. No, you can put the, <laughs> leave the replenish on top. Yeah. Cool. Good card, Black. She has had some bad luck with cards. So you see the person okay. that you may be is on top, Scott. There you okay. go. Limited retrieve, take a card. And I've got some good cards, but I could play it and get your hand back. Oh, I'll just get ruined anyway. We're just yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna walk our bikes. <laughs> uh, um maybe if we Shoot at them, they'll notice us. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. Guns do make some noise. Uh, oh, I have my my Magitek pistol has the double range thing on it. Uh, that means twenty meters. They, that still leaves you with eighty meters to make up. But if he lunges forward, well, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? 20 meters no penalty or 20 meters period uh, it's period oh okay uh -huh. are you yeah 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 you might do, do it this. shoot it it'll get their attention with its silent puff of smoke or something or no, right. it goes zap or something, right? And yeah, it's, it's like yelling zap at people. Yeah. A, a regular Maybe. gun would definitely uh, make more noise than this. Oh, my regular guns don't work here, I think. Right? You're not really sure. Or maybe try, you are. I try my regular gun. Give me a willpower times one roll. Uh, he says. No. Cool. No, they don't work here. I get the Magitek pistol. All right. Yeah, it shows them like speedily disappearing into dust cloud as you're like, activate, etc. Zap, zap, zap. I will give the uh, posse one line. Holy shit. One of the guys like, Whoop. he looks around, sees you go. <laughs> He gets a couple other guys, and they, they do the big turn, and they're coming back this way. Looks like three of them total. Okay. They're Stay riding at you with uh, horses and stuff, and you can hear their guns over their horses going, Is there any cover nearby? Uh, it's some rocks over there and shit. Yeah, yeah, there's some cover you can get. Not, not great cover, but some, sure. Uh, I'll go to the rocks. Yes. On your bike? No. <laughs> oh, you Leave just get the off. The... Yeah. 
All right, you ditch your fucking useless bikes. You hate them so much. Your ass is so sore from them. And you guys get shitty cover. And right, we eventually, they get back here enough that you can go into combat rounds with the three of them. It takes them a while, but they do make it. So round one of your dramatic combat. Heroes are first, villains are second, and get reinforcements. Rapid firing two pistols is approved. Uh, right, for uh, Hero's turn. Scott, uh, I'm going to basically, I'm waiting till they're 20 meters out so you can actually do something, but they're at a gallop on horseback. Okay? okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Scott. You are at half, half pistol skill, but chances are so are they since you've got some cover and they're on the back of galloping horses. I shoot. Go for it. I made pistol at half. God damn. Um, I have an armor piercer card. Do they have armor? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, one of them's got uh, some uh, big barreled gun. The other two have standard uh, guns, but the big barrel guy isn't aiming at you. There's another guy with a standard Magitech pistol who's aiming at you, and another guy with a standard Magitech pistol aiming at her. What's... And a big barrel gun who's just riding. Okay. I shoot the big barrel gun guy. Okay. He goes, no, no, I'm different. Therefore, acceptable. <laughs> and I play a D10 damage. Oh, fuck, he says. And... How much? How much do these pistols do? D8 normally. Do you have uh, decks above 80? No. Okay. Do you have decks above 80? D8. No. Oh. Uh. Roll D8 and D10. D8, D10. No problem. He looks seriously wounded and shit. He goes, Ah, Sheila, what do you do? The guy getting ready to shoot you, uh, he a guy getting ready to shoot Scott, and some dude who just riding along and got shot by Scott because he didn't like that he's slightly different. <laughs> this is what yeah. happens when you're different, kids. Try to be like your friends. <laughs> Kila, what do you do? Quick. I shoot him with my magic tech pistol, the same guy that Glenn did. You see how everybody punishes you for being different? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Holy shit. And, and I made it. Yeah. Roll your D8 or whatever damage you're doing. Yeah. And it's a one. Ah, I'm mortally wounded, he says. <laughs> keep taking on me. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, wait, is, is he down? Uh, almost. He's no. really super close. One more hit point will send him into unconsciousness. Two more will kill his dumb ass. I can't trade you the card. Nope. Okay. See what happens when you don't play cards to give her cards so you can trade her cards? Yeah. 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 So, right. <laughs> Bad guy's turn. He goes, ah, and with his possible last dying gasp, fires his big gun thing into the air. It's a player. And the other two guys shoot you people because they don't like you shooting big gun guy just because he's different. So the one on Scott goes missing and the one Sheila manages to tag her for, no, wait, they're too far away. Never mind. Actually, no, they're not. Six points because their horse moves automatically. They don't have to concentrate on it continuing to run. So they go um, and they fire at you guys and they're now about five meters past you. Count her armor. Oh, what armor? Uh, we got vests. Do you? Yeah. From red carpet. Oh, cool. Here's your new damage. Three. Apparently your vest is kicking ass. Aha. Aha, because that's like all that we were able to accomplish this session. <laughs> True that. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Next round. They are now five meters past you, so they're five meters away, but you have to turn. You're no longer behind cover, but they're firing back over their saddle. Villains are first. Any action you have to roll for that you can succeed in is approved. 
Assuming nobody's actively dodging this round instead of firing or whatever? No. no. Be no. aggressive. Cool. Uh, they both shoot at you again. Guy and Scott. Wow, he's going to drop from the fumble deck. Guy and Sheila is just fucking tagging the shit out of her. Two more points. Your bulletproof vest is taking all kinds of damage. Horrible burns everywhere. And the guy with the fumble deck, let's see what happens to him. Broken. Your weapon's broken. He goes, ah, damn it. <laughs> so, next round. Uh, oh, sorry. Gonna... Hero's turn. Right. Uh, let's see. Since they went first, they moved. They are now about 20 meters of total away. So, Scott, you can barely tag them. Sheila, I think they're out of your range unless you have a double range. Do you have double range? I do have a double range. Both of you guys, go ahead and shoot whoever you'd like. So the flare gun guy didn't pull out another weapon? No, he right now, uh, for oh, sorry, for his action, after shooting the flare, he turned and is, like, riding away from you. Like, oh, God, ah, oh, and looking over his shoulder like, no, no, I get shot again. Okay, I'll shoot the guy whose gun didn't break. Okay. Sheila? That's target. also Excellent. when he's still armed. I got pistol at minus 30. Yep. Wow. Whoa, my screen went dark. Yes, yes. Stop there. covering the camera. It's not the camera, it's my <laughs> monitor. Oh, stop covering the monitor. Two damage. All right, Scott, see if you can roll high. Uh, I think my browser broke. Uh huh. Sheila, make Scott stop breaking his browser. Um, let me reload. Yep. Oh wait, I see you. I see you. Okay, now I'm back. Hooray! That's, that's, a... what that's what happens when you try to cruise porn while you're gaming. What? <laughs> Five damage. All right, he's taking seven total. Keep track of it. Right, he looks really damaged, and then you guys hear a horrifying sound of a tuba. Each of you roll a d10 for me, please. Try to roll low. You want low. Low, low, low. Got yeah, seven. Eleven more guys are coming over the hill. One of them is playing a tuba. The big horn, as they call it. Not a bugle, it's an entire tuba. It is absolutely terrifying, turning your bowels into paste. They ride toward this way. Uh, one of the guys, instead of a pistol, has a sword that he's doing the pointing in the direction that you guys are. So at least two of them are, are not going to be able to fire you guys as one of them's playing a tuba and the other one's waving a sword. You realize at this point, your only escape route seems to be your bicycles. <laughs> so horrible. So... What do you guys? Oh, we'll go on the next round to see what happens. Oh, I get to get a card because I made oh, my yeah, roll. Made I'm roll. back yeah, in the yeah, card yeah. play. Yeah. Hooray! I so, got a card. <laughs> One card. Yes, take your cards. Seamanship. Mm -hmm. And it's to discard a piece of gear. It's the one card I get. Oh. Wow. Name a legitimate piece of gear you have. I don't know. Best gun. These are what immediately come to Logan's mind. I what know. have you got? Uh, Show me what you got. I'm not prepared to lose things. Uh, just name your gun. I'll be happy with that. Oh, how about a be, gas detector? It, it has to be a legitimate piece of gear that actually comes up and stuff. Because otherwise, it's not a really bad card. It's like, oh, that paper clip in my pocket went away. <laughs> Nobody cares. You've never actually used your gas detector. The, the we had it in the cave earlier today, along with uh, ponchos did, also helped. They detected some gas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it did not come up. Bulletproof vest? I'll find it. No. No. <laughs> I can't think of anything else you've actually used that's helped. Cell phone? Cell phone, cell I'd phone. accept. Yeah, sure. There it goes. All right. Goodbye, cell phone. Right. Uh, this round, villains are first and hasted. Heroes are second. 
Yelling demons and smashing an electronic device is approved. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right. They, they sweep down from the, uh, the ridge line toward you guys, whooping and a hollering and playing the big horn. It says. And uh, meanwhile, the two guys that rode, rode by for their round, they fire again, and then they're going to try to wheel their horses for their hasted maneuver. So first, the firing of the one dude, the other one, holsters his pistol for his round of broken pistol because by god he might still be able to get a deposit back holy shit uh sheila continues taking getting riddled with bullets apparently they're testing the upper limits of her bulletproof vest for five more points of damage and let's see the wheel horse roll guy who keeps shooting sheila maybe he'll fall up he's having problems with controlling his mount and so is the other guy. The exact same problem. It shows them both doing the exact same thing, the horse acting in the exact same bad way, and it's almost sanity roll territory. But fortunately, the big horn distracts you. They all are going to try one big riding down the hill roll because it's kind of a, they're having. It's going to be a while before they get here. Maybe just enough time for you to hop on your bikes and somehow <laughs> learn to use them and ride away into the. Eh, well, you'd have a better chance of surfing, I think. So, hero's turn. Yelling demons and stuff is approved. So, Scott, what do you do? Shoot. Oh, they're out of range by now. They've passed the 20-meter mark, those guys. They're trying to wheel their horses. They're oh. right. They, they don't have good cornering radius on a galloping horse, I'm afraid. So, they're going out and around. They're just going right. further out than they anticipated. They shot the, at us. Yes. There's like 11 guys, move. Glenn. Shoot. It's time to pedal. Yes, it is time to pedal. You've got at least We're not outrunning the horses. 13 guys on wild or on strong, <sighs> vigorous mounts. It just shows the muscles working under their pelts as they gallop down the hill. And it shows your bike and it goes. Da, 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 da. I guess it's that or surrender. Mm. Well, you could always go back to San Angeles and ask for horses this time like she wanted, but no. <laughs> okay, go to the bike. You look at it. The, it. the seat has been, in your mind, replaced with a sharpened metal spike that you've had to endure for the last <laughs> week. You fucking, your ass hurts so bad that you're thinking capture may not be that bad. Work, damn you. Right. So you guys are both trying to pedal away bravely. Bravely pedal yep. away. Come on. I did not make it. You are both going to get captured and probably eaten or thinking. Yeah. Uh, I got to reroll. It is the, well, yeah, but uh, you can leave her behind. Fuck her. You don't know her that well. So she's doing the, I'm going for, oh. Pebble, 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 go around it, go around it. New, no. oh my front wheel's spinning. You gonna hero? I think I could hero for a long time before I get that number for riding my bicycle. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna sprint and try to hide. Long distance, long distance running might not hurt. That's that's where I'm at. Rather than just go down the... Well, I already sank one hero point. <laughs> I'm running. Hey! I didn't forget how to run. Long distance running, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, At under a third. Good? Yes, that would... It, that would that would be a help. I'm also gonna ask for a stealth roll if Scott makes his because you're doing the runaway and disappear. No, you will be leaving your bike behind because it's just too awkward to carry. Screw it. you, bike. <laughs> Long distance running at a third. Nice. How many heroes did that cost you? None. Oh. Uh, you were signed. You were signed because uh, uh, you had to abandon a second bike. Yeah. It's, it's like throwing gold pieces at random shit in the forest. Okay, both of you, in order to completely escape from these guys, 
All I need is a stealth roll of fault. That's it. You're going, you run off. And they don't have dogs to try. If they have dogs, you'd be fine. But you run <laughs> off and they're looking well, around on their horses and Sheila goes, come on, you bastards. We're over here. They go. Bruh, 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 bruh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they surround you and they go, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I'm gonna, really good time. The power of the big horn. Bruh, 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 I'm going to hero. Oh. Made it. Made my stealth. Why is my and then I cast there? remove tracks. Ooh. Let's see that remove tracks roll. Yeah. Excellent. They will try to track you. I try again. It shows the guy at the big horn. <laughs> it is absolutely terrifying your thinking as you listen to them tracking. You hear. Uh, fumble remove tracks. Your tracks stand out to everybody, and you get a fumble card. And you're done with that spell. Fumble probably, card? What? Probably hero that. We want to remove the tracks, right? Oh, go for the fumble deck. What's the worst that could happen? Chills in, create himself into a flare, and the bad guys are like, <laughs> Critical hey. remove tracks. Ah. I learned a new spell. Ah. Hold on, let's check and see. What is the tree that's on? Earth. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Uh, Samjet. Samjet. Here's a copy paste. I'll read it real quick and get back to the Bighorn, which is the real star of this show. Samjet. Blind people temporarily. Casting time one round. Range 20 meters. Duration two rounds. Magic pint cost four. Gives the person a negative 30 to all action. All activities involving vision, unless they make a con at negative 30, roll not stackable with other vision modifiers. Nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, the downside of that particular spell, especially for, you know, Dana, is he has to cast it on somebody else to practice it. So it's going to be a long, hard road for you as he's like, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's like here it just blinds you it's not like it whips up actual sand it probably feels like actual sand though <sighs> yeah because you know nothing's ever easy in the world but good news if he fumbles it may cause his head to explode and that's something you can live with so you guys are hiding in a bush right now and you hear as they continue like circling around looking for your tracks and shit but they don't even get a roll of tracking because there are no tracks. This irritates them. Eventually, they, they catch up. And uh, let's see, who is going to do the luck roll for something else? It's going to be one person, luck at neg negative 30. Made oh, it. Wow, goddamn. Right. They decide to have a plan near you. Unfortunately, yes, somebody is pissing in a bush, but he's involved with the planning. So you get to hear them really well because... They think nobody could be in this fucking thorny bush. And you guys like, it hurts so much, but we're so hidden. <laughs> and they're like, did you get her? Yes, we did. Excellent. Well, that should be the end of that. We're going to go ahead and make camp. Make sure to post double guard. So in case those scumbags return, what should we do with the bike, sir? Put them on the horses. Those things are worth good money. I'm surprised they didn't take off on those. I know. It struck me as odd, too. <laughs> or anybody run off when they had a perfectly good bike. Yeah, well, man, the horses go lame. We can always use the bikes. Oh, yeah, they should a lot less. Uh-huh, yeah. And so, uh, right. <laughs> and, uh, all right, well, we'll get we'll get her back to her father. And, uh, yeah, we should be able to make some money off of that. That puts me over a 1,000 spell points. You feel extra special. Look at Your you. Your are rock hard. Whoa. Mm. You didn't need to tell that to me, Glenn. <laughs> I shouldn't know these things. Glenn, you're such a pervert. So anyway. <laughs> right. Um, and it shows like uh, nightfall. You guys are in the same bush. And they're making camp nearby. You could sneak away if you want to. But you are really close to the camp and stuff. And they're, they're making camp, and the girl's like, you bastards, you'll be, you'll rue the day. And somebody's like, 
who the fuck talks like that? She does. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Hey, the girl. Yes. One of the guards goes, hey, don't feel bad. Your father sent a present for you. And she's like, he did? He pulls out manacles. He goes, ta-da! And snaps them on her. She's like, you bastards. So they manacle her up. And uh, they pound a uh, iron stake deep into the earth. And they have her leg manacles chained to that. So that she can run around. They give her a bucket. They're, they're, pretty much, they're not messing with her at all. No horrible shit's going on. But it's like, this bucket's for pooping. This bucket's where your food is. Try not to get them confused. <laughs> so, and then they ignore her, but they are keeping guard. And uh, give me a, this time, Dana, give me a luck roll. No, I don't want to. I know, it's going to be epic. I'm not lucky. And I know that more about epic. myself. And I've more made my epic. peace. So epic. Mm. Okay. You can do it. No, I did not make it. You didn't make your luck roll. I did not make my luck roll. Cool. A guard comes and crawls into the same bush you guys are hiding in. Doesn't see you because you made your stealth roll. But he's using this bush to hide in because it's a really good bush. So that he can watch for people coming up to the girl. <laughs> and ambush them. They've got several different guards since now there are a grand total of 19 different guys hanging out here. And uh, one of them goes, all right, we're going to leave in the morning. I think I would like a bedtime story. Yes, sir, says the guy. <laughs> and he's pats an area guy. He's like, good job with the big horn today. Thank you, sir. And he goes <laughs> into his uh, tent, and the area guy goes in. He goes, all right. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy didn't care because Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. No hair, says the guy. That's right, sir. No hair. Ooh, what a fucked up bear. Yes, he was. <laughs> and so on. The story gets weirder from there. So, um, cut to uh, the sentry as he's uh, in your bush. It's a big bush. It is. It is. He eventually gets comfortable and he's just kind of sitting in the sentry stupor where you're like, if something happens, you may respond, but he's just sitting there watching in the darkness, waiting for a relief. But it's a, you can tell it's a good sentry because he went and hid and then watched. And you guys are just sitting there going, fucking bicycles. <laughs> Are you wanting to do anything or just wait out these assholes to leave? I don't think we can do anything. I'm not going to either. So is that a wait? Yeah. Unless right. they like, all fall asleep or something. Uh, everybody except the sentries, roving sentries, etc. do because they're expecting you guys to attack tonight. So, no attack? Excellent. Morning comes. Those fucking heroes reinforced cards are a real bitch. Morning comes, and the first guy awake is the tuba guy. <laughs> and everybody gets up and does their breakfast and stuff. And then um, the guy goes, all right, inform the men to mount up. Da -da 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 -da. And everybody gets on their horses, and they get the girl and unstake her. And, um, right, they, they put her on the back of a horse because, of course, they all know how to ride and stuff. Like Alex Kinley, they can ride a horse. So they all get on their horses, and they've got two bicycles like strapped to people's backs awkwardly who are sitting in horses. And they're like, that's some fine bikes. Be sure to flash the wheel to the air part so it doesn't turn and knock you. Yes, sir. And then they go, and they packed up all their shit in your bikes and they go, doo, 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 doo. and the sentry also from the bush, they don't leave. Everybody goes, they take their shit and yours. They go away. Hmm. You Damn. really hate it when somebody hires multiple teams to do the same thing because they're too rich to hire just one. 
badass dudes. Mm -hmm. And you know you're going to be getting the blame for her being returned to the city as well because you have a penis. <laughs> There's no pleasing some people. <laughs> there is no pleasing. Well, you could get it taken off, I suppose. Eh. Don't get so uppity, ma'am. So, anyway, <laughs> what do you guys do now? <sighs> They've gone away. They've gotten all your supplies that were on your bike and your bike. Got my backpack. Yay! Is uh, Route 66 anywhere around here? No. No. You're just going to give up. You're just going to quit again. Yeah, that, that's a fail. I guess she's gone. <laughs> it cer yeah. certainly seems that he's giving up again. Go kamikaze those 20 guys. 18. Uh, no, 19. Sorry, 19. Close enough. One of them is badly injured, though. <laughs> so it's like 18 and a half. All right. Let me go with that. Um... Their superior Man, I... firepower and mobility and training. Can I very quickly train a bird to carry a message to Jess so she can set up an ambush? <laughs> <clears throat> Roll me a not one twice in a row, and yes, you can. All right. Maybe this will. Maybe this time it'll come up, Dana. No, and still no. <laughs> she kills a couple of different birds trying her <laughs> advanced training methods, but so that night you're gonna be eating bird. What of it? Hey. Not eating birds. I, I guess you're birds. not having birds, so you gotta eat your fucking granola bar. I'm, and like I'm it. eating birds. <laughs> you guys bicker about birds and stuff. So we're gonna call that end of adventure as you guys sit there. Abandoned out in the countryside. Hopefully, next time you play, somebody else will be teleported out here and go, So, why are you guys sitting around here? <laughs> <laughs> because wouldn't that be a fucked up position? Oh, Where's the food? Hey, Tiger. We, we go to Santa Claus and ask about Spencer. Mm -hmm. the, the psychic guy. Ah. <laughs> No problem. You guys reach Santa Claus. You talk to Spencer, and he goes, "You've recently been robbed. You, <laughs> you've had to walk here. You are wildly incompetent. Am I close on any of the two out of three? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't recently. We were robbed days ago." <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, I'm close. We'll call it a day. I know it wasn't Glenn. I know you think that we're still competent, and that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and end it there. Uh, you guys get two paws for trying real hard. <laughs> and discard any cards you don't want and refill your hands. Uh, let the good times roll. Right, let's do the replenish before we do... Uh... Yeah. And mission refill. You guys have got to earlier on commit to whatever mod you're going to do and go for that. Yeah. Agreed. Because otherwise you'll just end up wandering around dabbling at a bunch of shit and going, did we get anything done? Well, we spent a couple more gold on bikes. That's something. <laughs> True assessment. <laughs> more loot. No loot for this one. I don't think. Uh, no, that, that's, uh, the card has been changed. It's now for found loot, and you play it when you find the loot to double oh. loot, which is better, I think, for the players. Yeah. I have a limited retrieve. That's the best one. Um, can I still have this page of cups and five of cups. I don't know what that is. Does Spencer know what that is? Oh, that's a really um, good question. How is your how are your hero points? Cards of power. 
uh, collect them all, something good happens, but also in certain places you can activate certain cards to create certain individual powers from the cards. Holy shit, you found a fucking use for the Spencer guy. Huh. <laughs> I'll give her a card for that. That was clever. Um, my hero is capped, so if you want this insta hero... My hero is not capped. I will take yeah, your instant hero. That's what I figured. Well, I was going to say, uh, don't forget that it's all about trying to go over your cap as well. Um, and if you do, then uh, when you hit 50 points over the cap, then you are uh, getting something neat to start with. I'd rather keep people alive than go to stretch True. goals. Okay, so I trade this to you. All right, thank you very much. Is gone. Okay, end of mission refill. Uh -huh. uh, We've got killing is wrong. Play immediately. <clears throat> Do you have any points in cold blooded killing? I do not. Really? Really. Hmm. Refill. Hooray. All right. Okay. What was um, before you jump? <laughs> I have a limited retrieve. Could I grab your killing is wrong? Ooh, there you go. I don't see why not. Okay. Very good. That's good card play. And then I get a refill. Do you have any points in cold-blooded killing? Nope. Then yes. Not even I also, torture. I also uh, have an assistant refill, so don't discard everything. Hmm. One year. Refill. Uh, I have a numbers to letters. Everyone must discard all cards that have the number. Yeah. That's number, good for you guys now. Just plus percentage. Yeah. So the move plus five count for that? No, it's more like plus 10%, plus 5%. Stuff. Okay. Goodbye, skill 15. Draw one card. Okay, um, I've got an assistant refill, so I can refill you, or I can trade it to you, and you can refill me. I don't care. I am can dump everything. Okay. Um, I'll play it on you, then. Okay. And I also have the discard card. So I can discard any cards I want and refill my hand. Hmm. Which I do. And I'll leave that on top. <coughs> what happened? <coughs> I have a yin yang. <coughs> wah, wah. Oh. Well, if you actually, if you don't have uh, any good uh, end of mission cards, the yin yang may actually be a boon. Um, do you want the? I can take it, coach. Instantly heal. Well, hold on. If she's got yin no, yang, that's a play, play immediately. Right, right. Okay, they're, they're all gone then. Dump it. Yeah. All I had was a replenish. Was my best card anyway, which the re yin yang is. You guys are definitely cycling some fucking cards, though. I know, and we still haven't found a birthday card for Russ. <laughs> no, I... Well, if he was still in card play, that'd be a big yeah. hell. But, like, we still haven't found it, even through all uh, of that. Happy <laughs> Holidays just now. I don't know if that's the right one. Yeah. Well, Insta-hero, I got one. Hey! Down to the wire. Ooh. 
Uh, everyone discards all but one. Wah, wah. Save your instant hero. Why? Because what? that's their one card. But I already played it. It's instant. Uh, well, no, it's a regular play card. It's not a play immediately oh. card. Oh, okay. I know. Mm, yeah, everything else is junk. So you didn't have any replenish or anything like that, Scott? No. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So she ends up with three hero points. You get two. Yep. Cool. Go for All your right. skill ups and have fun. Okay. Hmm. You guys got through a fifth of the deck, roughly. <laughs> I love having a big, huge deck, but, you know, there's no telling when you're going <laughs> to see a new card or not. Um, does anybody have a better idea for a uh, uh, title than Don't Be a Quitter? No. It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty perfect title for any of our episodes. <laughs> 